We're back at White Oak Estate and Garden on 9 News Alerted 4. Good afternoon. Chip Genevieve, Chip John D. Hello. Folks, what's the D stand for? Absolutely doggone good. <laughs> like what we're making today. Boy, I had some venison this weekend. It was delicious. Huh? I had to cook it. <laughs> they were, uh, it was fried. Fried. It was oh, fried. Fried tenderloin, delicious. probably. Fried. Oh, it yeah. was so good. All right. All right. So we're doing nice deer season, y'all. So what do we have going here? Well, we're, so what's also National Hot and Spicy yep. Day. Hot and Spicy Day. Uh, so in honor of all that, we're doing some, uh, some deer meatballs. So we have... Two different kind of meat deer. We have equal parts pork and deer meat because okay. we're adding we're adding the pork to make it a little more tender because of the fat content. So you just deer is a really lean meat. Yeah, you dump it in that and mix it all together, y'all. Original meatballs back to the Quinn Dynasty, 200 BC. Can you imagine that? Wow. <laughs> meatballs. Okay, Diana, what do we have? Okay, we're going to make a roux. Okay, and you see the smoke, so that's telling us that the, the, uh, the oil is hot enough. And you see the, why you need hot oil. Look at the steam coming out is pulling all the water out of the flour and wet flour does not brown so you need the oil hot enough when you add the especially during the winter season when it's picking up more of that moisture you want to get your oil real hot before you dump the flour in and all of that steam will come right out of the pot and then you can brown your roux okay and you teach that at school right yeah absolutely you you do. everyone must take a roux She's got uh, her so he's got his trinity. He's got some seasoned Italian herb breadcrumbs and um, some grated cheese that he just mixed in there for his meatball concoction. What kind of meat you have? Venison and pork. Venison and 50 50. Venison, 50 50. 50 50. Venison, very lean, pork, very fat, and the combination of them just perfect. You didn't you know. think I remember what kind of pork we had, what kind of meat we had. I was just huh? testing you. Yeah, I was just testing you. Well, am I doing something wrong? What's well, the deal? Because Janet's here from the school. I know. She teaches at the school. Janet's here from the school, so we try to make sure you are here with Kevin. You out here. I'm nervous about that. Look at it, look at it. All right, so are you ready to start making meatballs? I thought we made one. <laughs> oh, look, you see that? Oh, look, you see that? That's what I would do right here. This is a meatball. You ready? Just put it in. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'll do that. We'll be back. No, Johnny, round meatballs, round meatballs. Like he's never had a meatball before. I still can't believe that 200 BC in China meatballs were being baked. 200 BC. Years before Christ. Wow. Meatball. Okay, what do we have here? Onion, celery, bell pepper. My tomatoes are going in. Meatballs are being done. Tomato sauce is going in. Little Brand rich stock. stock. What kind of stock we have? We got Little some beef stock. Beef stock because it's meatballs, y'all. If it was uh, seafood, we would have fish stock going in. We got some and, jalapenos for spice. Oh, yeah, get that spice in. Now, we would season it or adjust the season with a little salt and pepper, and we're going to gently put the meatballs in, and they're going to cook in the sauce and they're going to be real nice and look what they uh, look like in that bowl with the sauce when it's all said and done. Just absolutely beautiful. beautiful. And naturally you know where to find the recipe. And I helped. <laughs> we'll see you Thursday. I helped too.